Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to evaluate the limit if it exists, and we have the limit as t approaches zero of the square root of one plus t minus the square root of one minus t divided by t. So we can't just plug in zero because then we'd be dividing by zero. So what we have to do is we have to simplify this fraction in such a way that we don't just have t in the denominator. And the way we're gonna do that is by rationalizing the numerator. So if we have the square root of one plus t minus the square root of one minus t, we're going to multiply by is the square root of 1 plus t plus the square root of 1 minus t. And then, of course, you have to multiply the denominator by the same thing. And what that accomplishes is we have the square root of 1 plus t times itself. The square root of anything squared is just the thing itself, so this is 1 plus t. And then we have the square root of 1 plus t times the square root of 1 minus t minus the square root of one minus t times the square root of one plus t. So we have something minus itself. So the middle terms cancel. And our last term is we are subtracting the square root of one minus t times the square root of one minus t. Again, square root of something squared is the thing inside. So we're subtracting one minus t. This is divided by t times the square root of one plus t plus the square root of one minus t. Next, we have one minus one, so these cancel. We have t minus negative t is t plus t, which is two t. So two t over t times the square root of one plus t plus the square root of one minus t. And the reason we did all this is because you simplify, you get two t on top, now you can um, cancel out the t's right here to give us the limit as t approaches zero of two over the square root of one plus t plus the square root of one minus t. And now we can plug in t is equal to zero into this fraction without dividing by zero. So we have two over the square root of one plus zero plus the square root of one minus zero. So this is two over the square root of one plus the square root of one, two over one plus one, 2 over 2, or 1. Therefore, the value of this limit is equal to 1. 